Hi, welcome guys. This is the baby cake tutorial um, on a little bit faster speed for you. So I'm using seven inch round cakes here and they're just vanilla cakes. I'm going to cut away um, some of the cake. I've got two stacked here to start with. Um, I'm going to cut my shapes out before I start putting my buttercream and everything on. Makes it a bit easier instead of making a mistake and the buttercream sticking. So I'm trying to use as much of the cake as possible. It's a nice soft cake. There's no hard pieces or anything so I can use the edges. I've popped a little extra bit of the cake on top of the bottom. I'm not sure if we needed that or no. I decided not to use the extra part. We didn't want it too high up. So I have my shape now and I'm going to start putting my buttercream and my jam and more buttercream and jam to stack the bottom of the baby's bottom and back this parts are for. So all I've done is cut off the sides and sloped the cake downwards on a slope and then put the sides in front of the slope and that forms the part before the head. I've put that bit back on again to check again, but I don't end up using it, that extra part. So here's another uh, round cake and I've cut a semi sort of circle um, to, to use for the head. Now I've never done this cake before and I was working quite blind trying to get it the way I wanted. So we're just forming the shapes of the head right now. So we have now the sides that we had left of the cake and we're going to place them at each side of the head and this is going to be the arms. Now the hands are not visible, they're underneath the, the baby's head, underneath the cake. I think you've all probably seen as well the moulds you can use, little moulds you can use for cake toppers and the same idea as this, but cake um, toppers. So the other pieces we've left over on the sides of the cake I'm going to use for the legs. And the legs will be placed on the sides and then they kind of go underneath the bottom of the cake and then feet are going to be on the back. You don't have to add the feet on if you don't want to, but I think um, I definitely did. So I had some buttercream left, so I just covered it um, with the buttercream I'd left, it wasn't worth keeping. And then I covered it all in ganache. Next I'm using some fondant and it's a skin coloured fondant. And I'm going to cover the cake for its back um, and its face in the skin coloured fondant. So we take our tool and we're going to mark out where the arms sit and little creases at the side of the waist and at the legs. So we're covering it with the, fond the skin coloured fondant over the arms as well. Again, you make your little creases where you want put on the arms and the legs. Smooth out as much as you can. Just putting some over this. If you can do it in one piece, uh, great. Um, I wasn't quite sure where I was going to stop, where the pant line, nappy line would stop, etc. So I'm just doing it in pieces because it's my first time doing this one. So you can see we're gradually getting the shape that we require and the look. And as you go along, if you see more places you need to put um, 
creases and marks marking out or smoothing out. This is areas for the heart, so there will be going different coloured piece on top of the heart part. More baby sort of creases. So I'm using a mould um, to make my knitted heart look. It is a Karen Davis mould. Put some edible glue, pop your hat on, cut off your excess. Try and join up your seams as much as you can. And cut off your excess. Next I'm going to pop on just a little part of an ear showing through. I'm not going to be doing heavy features. I do put on a nose and mark out where the eyes are and also a little bit where the top of the lip goes. So a little border of fondant goes round the top of the hat and we're going to make some pom-poms as well. So just keep blending in your seams or anything like that you need to go over with on your hat. Now I'm trying the pom-pom, I tried it on that um, mould to the side there, same as the knitted pattern but I didn't think it looked great. So I popped it on just now, didn't need sticks or anything which was quite good. Um, I just made little markings on it. I do go back later on and You'll see in the video we do some cutting in with the scissors to get more of a fluffy effect. So I've popped on a sort of three quarter of a sized one on the other side of the hat. So I'm just going to put on a little dinky nose and blend it in. But as I said, I'm not going crazy with the features. And the baby's going to have its eyes closed. Blend in as best as you can. It's a very awkward shape to, to work on the head because it's like sideways, of course. Now, on to the frilly part of the bottom. Um, I'm going to make an outline with the fondant of the nappy sort of size area that I need to put my frills on. And today I'm actually going to use a mould to make my frills. Um, I usually just make my own ones and I think you're as fast making your own ones but I suppose they come out quite more even using the mould. I wasn't happy with the heart there so I went and redone a bit of the heart the back of the head. So as you can see I've started with my mould for my frills and you place them on in a curve until you get to the top. Now I am doing little feet at the back. And then we pop some toesies on. 
and shape the feet a little bit more. Um, I also put the frill round the side of the nappy as well. So I'm going to add a little bit of pink luster dust. Sorry about my head guys. <laughs> I moved the camera the way it was looking because I had to plug my phone and that in. So you just add a little bit of luster dust here and there and um, pink around the face. give it a little bit of colour. It was hard to decide what colour of, to make the baby, whether to make it more a really light colour, as some babies are, or if some babies come out when they first arrive a little bit darker. So this is making the pom-poms. It's going to cut into it with the scissors and it gives a better effect. You can use a scrunched up bit of tin foil as well, works really well. So I'm just making the cover on the board, I'm just going to make it plain white or it does come out a bit ivory looking I think in the photos. <coughs> so I'll put it on to make it look like a sheet or a, a cover. You can make it a bit, if you want, a bit more patterned and everything if you want, of course. And that's our baby. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial.